Okay, now we're going to be having some fun because I've up to about 10 volts a 1 farad capacitor and it will be competing I guess say against a screwdriver It's burning up the screwdriver pretty good and making it harder to get good contact next to the next time as I do this, so it's just why it's not perfectly inconsistent. But as I can do, it's pretty pretty fun making sparks this thing. I think I fully discharged it now. Because it's not doing any more sparks. And I'm just gonna make sure it's fully discharged. Okay, we got zero volts across this thing now. But anyway, that was a fun run. Hope you enjoyed it. Constant Static Productions presents Constant Static. Here we go. Okay. This is just a power on indicator. Here's the higher the higher frequency oscillator and the lower frequency oscillator which makes it well, you'll, you'll notice it. But when we hold this uses high voltage. I'm using a solid state amplifier to amplify the signal. But the actual oscillations are taking place with neon lights. No transistors, no traditional vacuum tubes, and no um, integrated circuits. High voltage, resistors, capacitors, and neon lights. Is that amazing or what? running at a little, a little, just a little over 90 volts right now. You can actually visually see the oscillations take place. This is the one that's driving the amplifier. That is incredible. Now to turn this one in here into an oscillator, first of all we'll take, gosh, we'll take off this capacitor. Notice the frequency is higher make this one blink. All I have to do is put the capacitor in parallel with the neon.
No, I'm curious. I want to try something. This one doesn't even have the ch having the chance to charge. Thank you.